Making Petroleum Jelly Based Lip Gloss. Welcome to Kyle Experts Academy. For your entrepreneurial tips and advice, do remember to subscribe. To make a petroleum jelly based lip gloss, you will need 1. One or more microwave safe bowl. 2. Three vitamin E capsules for each bowl. 3. 150 grams petroleum jelly. 4. Two drops of favorite essential oil. 5. A small pinch of glitter. Step 1. Spoon one tub of petroleum jelly into a microwave safe bowl. If you want, use two bowls to make two different shades of gloss, or use one bowl to make multiple tubes of the same shade. Because the bowl does not need to hold much, you can use a small one instead of dirtying a larger one. Step 2. Add one teaspoon of lipstick to the bowl with the petroleum jelly. Use less lipstick to give your gloss just a tint of color or use more lipstick to create a deeper shade of gloss. Simply cut away a small piece from a tube of lipstick and add it to the mixing bowl. If you do not have lipstick, you could also use eyeshadow or blush to add color to your lip gloss. You could also add two drops of your favorite essential oil and a small pinch of glitter to the mix now. Step 3. Microwave the mixture for 2 to 3 minutes. Put the bowl into the microwave and set the timer for 2 minutes to start. Check it after that time to see if the ingredients have begun to melt. If not, put it back for an additional 1 minute. Be careful when using the microwave. The bowl may be hot to the touch once it's done. Note. If you don't have a microwave, use a double boiler on the stove to melt your ingredients. Step 4. Use a disposable spoon to stir the petroleum jelly and lipstick together. Simply stir the ingredients for 2 minutes or so to make sure they are thoroughly mixed. If you do not have disposable spoons, that is okay. They just make the cleanup a little easier but you can use a regular spoon and wash it off later. Step 5. Transfer the gloss into clean lip gloss containers. You can use squeezable lip gloss tubes, tubes with wands, chapstick tubes, tins, or any other container you would like. Just make sure that whatever container you use has a lid. Move the gloss into the container soon after it has been melted and mixed. The warmer it is, the easier it will be to work with. Heat it up again when it gets cold to be able to work with. Finally, let the lip gloss cool for about 15 minutes before you use it. Leave the lip gloss on the table where you made it, so it cools a little faster. Once it is cool, it will not be runny and will be the perfect consistency to wear. Benefits of Homemade Lip Gloss Recipe Lip balms made at home has some number of benefits. 1. They are free from harmful chemicals. 2. You have the choice to use the ingredients according to your liking. 3. They give better protection, gloss, and softness. In conclusion, it's easy to make your homemade lip gloss using three basic ingredients, petroleum jelly, coloring, and essential oil. Click the link in the description to get yours. Lip gloss uses, in addition to the previously mentioned benefits, lip gloss has so many uses. You can use your lip gloss over lipstick or even in place of lipstick. Not only that, lip gloss can be used as a highlighter, a shadow, or even as a brow gel. How to apply lip gloss for long-lasting effect? Here are some steps on how to apply lip gloss to achieve a long-lasting effect. Step 1. Prep your lips. The first thing you have to do is prep your lips. However, if you have chapped or cracked lips, or any dead skin cells, then you have to gently scrub your lips to remove the dry skin before you go right on to prepping. To prep, massage a lip scrub all over your lips for 2 to 3 minutes, then rinse it off. Remember that you have cracked lips when you are dehydrated, so take enough daily water. Step 2. Soften your lips. Before applying your lip gloss, you have to make sure that your lips are softened. To do this, use a lip conditioner or a lip balm. This will make your lips soft, supple, and ready. Let the lip balm stay on your lips for about a minute or two. Step 3. Dab off excess lip balm. After applying your lip balm or lip conditioner, dab off the excess with tissue paper. This makes it easier for you to apply other products. Step 4. Line your lips with a lip liner. With a pencil in whatever color you prefer, start drawing the line from the center of your upper lip, 
follow the natural line of your lip till you get to the corner of your lips. Do the exact same thing to your lower lip. You can also make use of the same lip liner as a kind of filler, this would make for a very nice base tissue and help the lip color last longer. Step 5. Apply your lipstick, if you want to. Apply your lipstick before the lip gloss if you plan on using one. To apply the lipstick, make use of your lip brush and apply using short strokes, filling up your entire lips. Step 6. Apply your lip gloss. Start applying from the center of your lips while dragging the sponge applicator along the length of your lips. Try not to apply the lip gloss above the natural line of your lips. If you notice that the gloss is in excess, dab off the excess with a tissue paper. By doing this, you are preventing the color from bleeding. There are other ways of making lip gloss which will be addressed in subsequent videos. Click on the description to order your homemade lip gloss.